Hey guys, JC Smith here. Today we're working on the crew cab. Hard to see that but because of the glare, but it's crew cab long bed. Um, <clears throat> this right rear wheel is, uh, I don't know if it's hanging up, but I can slightly smell um, brakes on this corner. So I want to take it off, look at it, see what's going on, make sure the caliper is good and free. Make sure the slides are free and the, the pads are able to slide back and forth on this pretty good. So um, <clears throat> let's get this part and see what it is. I think it's going to need just cleaned up. It looked like it had good pads and new rotors and newer calipers, so we'll see how somebody put them on. Right. The rotor looks really good. It has a ton of pad, you know, brake pad left. They're like new. Um, so let's get it off and see if it's maybe in the slides sticking a little bit or if it's the brake pads. The brake pads appear to not have any lubricant on them at all, so all right, let's get it apart. Okay, the pistons of caliper went in very, very smooth. Um, here's the slides. This one's okay. I mean, it's a little bit stiff, but this one here is real hard, real hard to move. That should just pull out of there pretty easy, so. I'm gonna take these apart. Should pull out a little easier than that. So we're gonna clean these up. We'll clean down in the slot where they go on both of them. And just like I thought, there's nothing on them brake pads for the slides. So we're gonna clean all this up. We're gonna take take this housing off and uh, clean it all up real good. I'll show you how I do that. Might be easier to see now. And then the brake pads can't move because there's rust has started on this slide in here. So we're gonna knock these things out. Let me see what kind those are. I can't tell. Um, anyways, we're gonna knock these pads out. We'll clean the backs of them up. We'll clean the slides up where the pads go. We'll clean up the caliper slide. You can see the, the hard whatever was in there turned hard and get this all cleaned up and ready to go. Okay, here you can see it's filled full of crud in both places. Um, you know, a lot of guys like to use a wire wheel and clean this up. I don't because the wire wheel typically, well, in a lot of cases, what will happen is all you're doing is shining up the rust. Uh, it doesn't take it off. So I take a flat file and I run it flat across these like this until I see shiny metal again and then I turn it on edge and I do this portion so I can make sure the corners clean I do the same thing here and then I'll flip over here as far as these go I'm gonna soak them in PV blaster get all the crud out of them and then I'll take a round file real lightly and I'll go in and out working the garbage out break parts cleaner clean it and then um, We'll get these cleaned up. Much better. All right, now I'll continue on this one. Get it cleaned up. I'm not doing. I mean, this is obviously a very, very fine file. All I'm trying to do is get just the crud and the rust buildup out of there. So I'm not taking any material off. You just see the kind of crud that's coming out. Just hose it out with some high quality brake cleaner. Spray yourself with it. Make sure there's no day complete without a little brake parts cleaner on you. 
All right, let me finish getting these blowed out. So, I don't know, you, there's a lot of controversy about this. Whether you use Never Seas on these caliper slides or if you use some other type of lubricant. Um, I use Never Seas. You do use what you want. Um, seems to work well, doesn't give me any troubles. I don't like Never Seas because every time I touch it, I feel like the Tin Man from the Wizard of Oz. Uh, I get it everywhere. It never fails. You, you can be as careful as you want, but before you know it, uh, I go to wash up and I got never sees in places I never imagined. So those are both cleaned up. So now we're going to put the boots on these, get them in here. Now you can see, maybe, I've got the area where the pads slide cleaned up, cracks right in here where the corner is. I got them all cleaned up real good. It is flat. Um, I don't want to take off any more material. So that's as far as I'm going to go. They are flat and uh, smooth. So um, now we're ready to go back together. Get the brake pads cleaned up. Make sure there's no rust on any, any of these tabs here. Then I like to use a little bit of this, this brake quiet from Napa. Um, basically it makes the pad stick to the caliper so it releases makes an air gap between the rotor and the pad so the brake dust can get out I'm sure there's some other benefits too but I usually use a pretty liberal helping on there which doesn't look like I got enough oh there we go now oh, it's coming out So we'll let that set up a minute. It's very, very tacky. So when I go to put it in, I'll only touch it by the ends. All right, so this is what brake pads should look like. Let's see if I can do this without getting all gooey. They should be able to slide easy back and forth. And these weren't, they were stuck. So a lot of times what will happen is if these get stuck and they won't move, or your caliper slides get stuck, it'll mess with your brake pedal, the way the brake pedal feels. If these get stuck and they can't move, sometimes it'll feel like you're pushing the brake but nothing's happening. Like you got a good hard pedal but you can push hard, hard, and it just seems like it takes a lot more effort than it should. Sometimes that's what it is, is these caliper, uh, the pads themselves are stuck. So even though you're pressing against it with a caliper, it's not moving. Or other times, you'll feel like you have a good pedal but it feels like you have to push too far like uh, you have to push too far to travel on the pedal and sometimes that can be the caliper slide stuck because what happens if the caliper slide sticks out and you go to apply the brakes that piston has to come out even farther before it actually touches the brake pad and starts to squeeze so there's a couple things we run into uh, this is all ready to go as you can see and we're going to put it back in place this probably goes without saying for a lot of guys but don't ever hang your caliper by the hose. I mean, it will literally tear apart. And maybe not then and there, but probably in panic stop. You're trying to hit, hit the brakes good and hard. That's probably when it would fail. But uh, anyways, we're ready to go back together. Let's put this caliper on, get the wheel on. Do the same thing on the other side and uh, go from there. Okay, so whenever doing anything with brakes, uh, the first thing I do when I get in the truck is I pump up the brake pedal. In my case, I compress pistons in the uh, in the caliper. So when you first go to hit the brakes, that first pump is going to be to push the pistons out to meet the brake pad. So if you didn't do that, you went to go take off the first time you hit the brake pedals. You may not have as much brake pedal as you really are used to. So we got the other side back together. Now we're going to take this one for a ride and see what it feels like. I'm about out of fuel here. It was, uh, and that feels better already. This one did take a little extra effort to get stopped, but it does have 35 inch tires on it too, so uh, that can definitely attribute to it. And we're about out of fuel too. Let's see how that feels now. Oh yeah, it's much better. 
Yeah, it's much better. Okay, I'm happy with that. So, anyways, anyways, the uh, the whole point was, you know, sometimes it's not bad brake pads or a stuck caliper. It could be uh, the, the brake pads can't move or the caliper can't move as easy as it once did. Um, so, you want to check out your slides and stuff before you just go condemning parts. Because in this case, all it was was cleaning up. You know, a little bit of file work, um, a little bit of cleaning, some uh, never sees and so on. And now it uh, it breaks good. So, okay, I'm going to leave you on that, guys. If you like what we're doing, give us that thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Ring the bell for notifications if you want to see any more. Uh, leave your comments down below. Catch you on the next one.